time lapse from this morning, 7 a.m. We had nothing but sunshine, and then around 9 a.m. we started to see a few clouds, and then since that time, the cloud cover has really taken over a large portion of the front range. Still have some sunshine uh, coming on through, and there is a chance for a few more showers or storms this afternoon. It's going to be less rain than we got over the weekend. Again, about three quarters of an inch officially in Denver. That was back on Saturday. Some way, somehow, the airport didn't get anything yesterday. Most of us got dumped on. We just got poured on for many neighborhoods, but airport said nothing yesterday. So our official total for the month, 3.65 inches. We just missed the top 20 list. I think if the airport had gotten anything yesterday, it probably would have been on the top 20 list of wettest maze on record. That said, 3.65 is an inch and a half above normal for May. May is usually our second wettest month of the year after July, so that's saying a lot. In fact, we tripled the amount of rain they got up in the Pacific Northwest. Traditionally wet cities like Seattle and Portland, look how much more we got than them. Seattle just over an inch. Portland didn't even get six tenths of an inch of rain. Unfortunately, drought starting to develop up in that part of the country, so we got drenched. It's almost like we got Seattle's weather in May. 70 degrees for our high temperature here today, and right now we're at 65, so we'll climb another 5 degrees or so. Notice how much warmer it is out west. Rifle 84, Grand Junction 87. Unfortunately, almost no chance for any rain again for them out on the western slope where the uh, extreme and exceptional drought continues for all of our friends west of Vail Pass. We really need to get some moisture out there. I wish we could move some of this from the front range out that way. Tomorrow, 90 in Grand Junction. We're going to top out in the mid to upper 70s in Denver for tomorrow, and then we'll bring that very warm weather our way starting on Thursday with a high temperature in the lower 80s for Denver, mid 80s in Weld County, including Greeley. And once we reach the 80s for high temperatures on Thursday, I think we'll go probably at least a week with a high temperature uh, of at least 80 degrees. And on Saturday, we'll come close to 90. If we were to hit 90 on Saturday, that would be ahead of schedule. Usually it's the middle of June. We have our first 90 degree day. June 10th is the average. So we got a little weather maker swinging through here today. It's not much, big stretched out area of low pressure. And as that moves away from us uh, tomorrow, we're going to bring in high pressure. So the chance for a thunderstorm tomorrow is pretty small. We've got about a 30% chance here today, just a 10% chance tomorrow. And then for the end of the week, Thursday into Friday, we're talking nothing but sunshine and a long stretch of very warm weather as we tap into that ridge of high pressure, which is like a big mountain of warm air that'll move over us. So here's the future cast for the rest of today. We'll start this at 1 p.m. A few showers possible here uh, in the next hour or two, but a better chance will come after 2 or 3 p.m. Scattered showers, a few embedded thunderstorms, and as we mentioned earlier in the show, we'll watch these storms as they march east out onto the eastern plains because a few of them could be strong to severe. By the time we get to uh, 10 o'clock tonight, we should be storm free across the state. There is a marginal threat for severe weather. So on the scale, it goes from one to five, we're at just a one. Hail up to an inch, wind up to 60 miles per hour. For most of us, any storm activity here this afternoon into the early evening will not be severe. But in a few cases, a storm could turn severe. So we'll just keep our eye on the radar. 70 degrees for our high today, tomorrow up to 76 with a small chance for a late day storm. And then sunny and warm Thursday and Friday, highs well into the 80s. Saturday, I could have gone 90. I'm, I'm not 100% convinced. We're going to be close. It's going to be warm, certainly way above normal. And we'll stay in the 80s on Sunday and into much of next week as well. So like I said, McKenzie, going forward, the end of the weekend of the weekend, brighter, overall drier, and definitely a lot warmer. Yeah, looking like summer on that board right there. For sure. Thanks so much, Ashton.